Big changes are coming for Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving software and hardware, including potential price changes and Tesla's official removal of radar from the new Model 3s and Model Ys. Let's discuss all these changes and the huge implications that they have for Tesla's future. I'm Jonathan and welcome to CleanerWide. Tesla just published a blog post officially announcing their removal of the radar sensors from the Model 3s and Model Ys that are currently being manufactured for the North American market. Let's dive into the highlights of that blog post. In the first section of the post, Tesla says, beginning with deliveries in May of 2021, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will no longer be equipped with radar. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neural net processing to deliver autopilot, full self-driving, and certain active safety features. Tesla also mentioned that there would be a temporary loss of a few features during the transition. For a short period during this transition, cars with Tesla vision may be delivered with some features temporarily limited or inactive, including Auto steer will be limited to a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour and a longer minimum following distance. Smart summon if equipped and emergency lane departure avoidance may be disabled at delivery. This is of course temporary and these features should be brought back very shortly. I believe they need to make sure they're completely safe before they roll it out to everyone. And they go on and describe this when they say, in the weeks ahead, we'll start restoring these features via a series of over the air software updates. All other available autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery, depending on order configuration. Now the removal of the radar from their vehicles only includes the North American market and only the Model 3 and the Model Y, not the Model S and the Model X. Tesla mentions this by saying all new Model S and Model X, as well as all vehicles built for markets outside North America, will continue to be equipped with radar and will have radar supported autopilot functionality until we determine the appropriate time to transition these vehicles to Tesla Vision. About a day before Tesla put out this blog post, Tesla changed the web page that talks about autopilot and full self-driving on the Model 3 and Model Y website. And as you can see here, instead of talking about radar, it talks about 250 meters of powerful visual processing. Now this term Tesla Vision is a term that Tesla started to use and it just simply describes their camera based system as opposed to a radar enhanced system or as some companies have a LiDAR radar and camera system. Tesla Vision encompasses not only the cameras but also the neural net connected to that that they're currently training to be able to recognize objects and drive in the real world with camera vision alone. Now we already knew thanks to a tweet from Elon Musk in March that Tesla was going to be moving away from their reliance on radar and moving to camera based vision system only. However, I didn't expect it to happen this quickly with the actual removal of radar sensors from the car. Now, of course, anytime someone makes a bold move like Elon Musk is making right now and Tesla is making by removing radar from their cars, there's going to be a lot of criticism and a lot of people have opinions about this topic. When it comes to the different sensors that will be necessary for a truly safe, full self-driving system, I have covered this topic in past videos, and I've spent a lot of time discussing the benefits and downsides of the various sensors, radar, LIDAR, and also cameras. And so I'm not gonna go really deep into this topic once again, but I believe at least a basic coverage of this is necessary. So when it comes to the leading companies that are working to develop full self-driving systems, Tesla is the only one that does not use LiDAR. Tesla is now taking this a step further by not even using radar. Now the main three sensors that companies are putting on their full self-driving cars are cameras, LiDAR, and radar. Each one of these of course has some positives and some negatives. For instance, cameras have a very low cost and they're able to recognize objects better and potentially read signs. However, as a negative, there's a huge amount of work and AI training needed for them to work properly. LiDAR, on the other hand, has a lot of precision and accuracy. However, due to its high cost and the fact that it doesn't function very well in bad weather, this makes LiDAR sensors, especially in Elon Musk's mind, not really the best sensor for full self-driving. Radars, on the other hand, function very well in bad weather. However, they can suffer from interference, and I believe this is what has led to phantom braking in Teslas in the past. 
Now, ultimately, whatever your opinion on Tesla removing radar sensors from their cars, when it really comes down to it, as Elon Musk and Andre Karpathy have reiterated multiple times, humans currently drive with vision alone. And also our current road systems are designed for humans that are using vision. So therefore, a car with cameras all around the vehicle and 360 degree vision, as well as the fact that the car is never going to be distracted and not paying attention. This makes it possible, I believe, for a car to safely drive itself with a camera-based vision system alone, as long as the hard work is done on the back end to train the neural net. I believe with Tesla's impressive neural net that they'll be able to have a system rolled out in just a few weeks that will be much safer than a human driver already, and it'll be orders of magnitude safer than humans in the not too distant future. A lot of people criticized Elon Musk in the past, and they said that LiDAR was necessary for the kind of precision that you need for a truly safe, full self-driving vehicle. However, as this Clean Technica article pointed out in the past, Tesla has achieved the accuracy of LiDAR with his advanced computer vision tech. Now, as we mentioned earlier, when it comes to companies that are currently trying to develop full self-driving vehicles, Tesla is the only one that does not use LiDAR sensors on their vehicles. Mobileye, one of the leading advanced driver assistance systems or ADAS system suppliers, are currently rolling out a camera-only ADAS system that they're calling SuperVision. And while this is very impressive, I believe, and is taking vision a lot further than most companies, they still believe, Mobileye still believes that LiDAR is necessary for a truly safe full self-driving system. The chief technology officer at Facebook recently commented about Tesla's moving away from radar to a camera-based vision system alone. He mentioned, given Tesla's ability to capture and label data at fleet-wide scale, this is a smart approach. Computer vision continues to advance quickly, and we have a proof point in that human drivers don't need radar. He also pointed out that sensor fusion is hard, meaning using radars and cameras to tell the car what to do. The radar thinks you are going to hit something, the cameras say otherwise, how do you know who's right? So I believe this is one of the big reasons why Elon Musk and Tesla are moving away from radar sensors in their vehicle and switching over to Tesla Vision alone because of this issue of sensor fusion. Now what about really bad weather and strange corner cases? Will Tesla's vision-based system be able to handle these? Elon Musk recently tweeted about this saying, almost ready with full self-driving beta version 9.0. Step change improvement is massive, especially for weird corner cases and bad weather. Pure vision, no radar. Elon Musk also recently tweeted out some more updates about Tesla's full self-driving software. He mentioned that pure vision autopilot is currently rolling out in North America. He also mentioned that full self-driving beta version 9.0 would be rolling out in approximately three weeks. And at the same time, they plan to roll out full self-driving subscriptions as well. Now, in the past, Elon Musk said on Twitter that buying full self-driving outright would be the better long-term deal versus the full self-driving subscription. I'll give some estimates in just a minute for what I believe the monthly cost will be for the full self-driving subscriptions. But there were some leaks recently that made it appear like Tesla is going to increase the outright purchase price of full self-driving from $10,000 to around $14,000. A Reddit user recently posted some source code from their Tesla account, and in that source code, it showed that Enhanced Autopilot will likely be coming back for $4,000, and Full Self-Driving will apparently be $14,000. So it appears like Tesla is going to keep Basic Autopilot free still, but they're going to add another layer, which they did in the past, called Enhanced Autopilot, and we'll talk about the feature differences in just a minute and that'll be $4,000. And then they're going to add another level on top of that where full self-driving is an additional $10,000 on top of the $4,000. So if you want the full self-driving program and you have just basic autopilot alone, that'll cost you $14,000 to upgrade to full self-driving. So with the ability to purchase autopilot for $10,000 at the time of purchase, if you finance your vehicle for six years or 72 months, and you divide that cost into the term of your loan, that equates to paying around $139 per month for full self-driving. If the price does go up to $14,000 during that same 72 months, this would equate to paying roughly $194 per month. So if the outright purchase is a better deal than the subscription, it makes sense that the price will most certainly be more than $200 and could be closer to $300 per month 
for full self-driving. Now, while full self-driving at $14,000 or somewhere near $300 a month is really expensive, I am really glad that they're going to offer a cheaper option, Enhanced Autopilot, that will have some really important features that most people will probably want. When you look at a side-by-side -side comparison of what's included with Basic Autopilot, Enhanced Autopilot, and Full Self-Driving, you can see that Enhanced Autopilot adds Navigate on Autopilot and Auto Lane Changing on the Highway, Advanced Summon, and also Auto Park to the features of the Basic Autopilot. Full Self-Driving, on the other hand, adds Traffic Light and Stop Sign Control, will soon allow auto steering on city streets, which is currently in beta, and will be necessary if you want your car to fully drive itself in the future. So in summary, Tesla's move away from radar to camera vision only is a very bold move made possible by all the excellent work from the Tesla Autopilot team of engineers and also all the Tesla drivers who have helped train their neural nets. Ultimately, I believe Tesla will defy what many experts believe is possible and will be able to roll out a full self-driving, a truly safe, full self-driving system that uses camera vision alone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I also wanna take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.